you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great we have started this series a month back approximately and look where we are today we have completed 240 questions aur is video ke andar bhi hum 10 aur questions karne wale we will be completing 250 questions in total hello everyone welcome to i exam b my name is prateek taldar in the last question we were discussing about which of the following factor is not a determinant of supply according to the text so consumer preferences c is the correct choice here next question which of the following statement about the operational risk are correct it is associated with the internal company procedures people and systems this one is correct it includes risk of internal and external fraud and system breakdown this is also correct it can be entirely eliminated through effective management this one is not correct option b is the correct choice next question which of the following is not a feature of p2p lending which is also called as peer to peer lending direct interaction between lender and borrower this one is correct loans are always collateralized this is not entirely true b is the correct choice here ye p2p ka feature nahi hota hai and basically p2p lending ka matlab uncollateralized loan hote hain yahan pe collateralized nahi hote hain which is a significant benefit for the borrower who may not have a collateral offer next question which of the following statements accurately describes the concept of crowding out in the context of fiscal policy yahan pe is concept ka matlab hota hai ki agar government spending increase ho jaye that eventually leads to decline in the private investment c is the correct choice here an increase in the government spending leads to a decline in the private investment next which is the primary difference between nominal gdp and real gdp जो आपकी रियल जीडीपी होती है दैट इज एक्चुअली एडजस्टेड विद इन्फ्लेशन नॉमिनल जीडीपी इज नॉट एडजस्टेड विद इन्फ्लेशन सो बी इज द करेक्ट चॉइस यर रियल जीडीपी इज एडजस्टेड फॉर इन्फ्लेशन वाइल नॉमिनल जीडीपी इज नॉट रियल जीडीपी बेसिकली रिफ्लेक्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल द गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट बेस इयर प्राइस वेर एज नॉमिनल जीडीपी रिफ्लेक्ट द करंट इयर प्राइस इज ओनली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डेटर्स एंड क्रेडिटर्स शुड बी क्लासिफाइड as what type of accounts in the traditional accounting this question is related to our basics of accounting traditional accounting ki ek approach hoti hai do approaches hoti hai modern aur traditional traditional bahut sare classification karta hai accounts ka debtor aur creditor aapke personal nature ke account hote hain so a personal nature account is the correct choice here what is other comprehensive income jisko hum short form mein oci bhi bolte hain so aapka jo income statement hota hai that is called स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इनकम उसके अंदर आपकी एक तो नॉर्मल इनकम आती है पूरी और जो सेकेंड वाला पार्ट उसका होता है उसको हम बोलते हैं अदर कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इनकम इसके अंदर आपके होते हैं इनकम और एक्सपेंसिस जो कि पी एंड एल अकाउंट के अंदर नहीं इंक्लूड किए गए ज्यादातर इसमें अनरियलाइज गेन्स और लॉसेज होते हैं सो सी इज द करेक्ट चॉइस यर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इनकम एंड एक्सपेंसिस नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट सच एज अनरियलाइज गेन एंड लॉसेज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which among the following is an incorrect classification of cost? If we classify the cost on the base of nature of elements, element के basis पे जब हम classify करते हैं तो आता है उसका material, labor and other expenses. So A, B, D ये सारे options आपके यहाँ पे सही हैं. Prime cost is not a classification on the basis of element. So C is the correct choice here. next question using the following data we are required to calculate the economic order quantity eoq annual consumption humko given hai 10000 kgs ka cost per order 50 de rakhi hai cost per kg of raw material is 2 to ye raw material ki cost de rakhi hai per kg obviously is pe storage cost humko percentage mein diya hoga taki hum is cost pe apply kar sake storage cost is given as 8% of the average inventory we need to calculate the economic order quantity here सो इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी निकालने के लिए हम टू इंटू एनुअल डिमांड इंटू ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय कैरियंग कॉस्ट करते हैं एनुअल कंजम्पन टेन थाउजेंड इज ऑलरेडी गिवन ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट हमको गिवन है पचास रुपए डिवाइडेड बाय द कैरियंग कॉस्ट तो दो रुपए के मटेरियल पे आठ परसेंट की कैरियंग कॉस्ट लगती है यहाँ पे पर एनम ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड के जी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसीज एंड प्रिंसिपल्स that guides the behavior of all the employees is called as code of ethics code of moral word of ethic ethical dilemma 
सो कोड ऑफ एथिक्स इज द राइट आंसर हियर कोड ऑफ एथिक्स का मतलब होता है एक रिटर्न सेट ऑफ गाइडलाइंस इशूड बाय दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू इट्स वर्कर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट to conduct their operations in accordance with the primary values and ethical standard of the organization last question for today 250th question what are the various types of share capital a company limited by shares can have so we are having equity share capital preference share capital equity shares with differential voting rights all the above ya fir both a and b that is equity and preference do let me know in the comment section ki iska answer kya hona chahiye thank you so much for watching this video Join our exam B and prepare 50% faster.